bring in Chief Meteorologist Scott Padgett now with uh, a look at what's about to happen tomorrow. We're going to wake up to some, some rain tomorrow. Huh? Rain and storms for us yeah. in the Metroplex for the morning commute. So go ahead and plan tonight to get up a little extra early and plan your morning commute to be a little bit longer. Here's the risk factor overnight. And you see that most of the Metroplex under a marginal risk of severe storms. The west sides of Tarrant County, also through parts of Wise County, stretching down through Johnson County, on the edge of the slight risk of severe storms, and then that moderate risk further down towards the south and west. So this is going to be after midnight into the early morning hours. As you take a look, here are the weather threats. 60 to 70 mile per hour wind gusts. Lightning will see several strikes of lightning for us. Large hail really not expected. We could see some ponding of the water on the roadways. The tornado risk is low, but still on this edge, we could see some of those quick spin ups. So we'll keep our eyes on that as we go through the night tonight and into the early morning hours. High resolution radar right now showing not a whole lot happening for us. A little bit of rain off towards the north and the east, but you notice just out to the west, a tornado watch that does not include North Texas has been issued and remains in effect until 5 o'clock this morning because here's the line from near Lubbock to the west of Midland stretching down towards the south and the west. So there have been some severe thunderstorm warnings with that, even some tornado warnings on that edge of the uh, the leading edge, as you saw, and maybe some embedded tornadoes with that back near Kermit continue to make its way east. That warning now has dropped, but the line still holds together. It's moving to the east at about 35 to 40 miles per hour. So the future sky forecast shows still by the time we get to about 1 to 2 in the morning, well out towards the west, but scattered showers will continue to work their way here into parts of North Texas. So we'll see this warm front work its way through, and as that slides northeast, we're in what's called the warm sector, that warmer air mass in place, and then this cold front interacts with that, so the line of storms starts to fill in, gets a little bit closer towards the metroplex about 5 to 6 o'clock, starts to slide its way on in about 7 to 8, heavy rain on the roadways, winds possibly gusting up to near 60 miles per hour is the main threat. And as that line continues to move east, it starts to weaken just a bit more. And by the time we get to our midday, the front's passing its way on through. The line has worked its way through East Texas. And then we start to dry out and we see the sunshine return for Wednesday afternoon. But on top of that, it will be windy for us. And as those winds started to pick up as we went into the evening hours, it kind of cleared out the cloud cover just a little bit, as you see on the Dallas time lapse there. So already tonight, we have winds gusting up to near 40 miles per hour. The wind advisory that initially was in effect at midnight is now in effect right now because we have those winds sustained at 20 to 30, gusting to 35 to 40. That remains in effect until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning when that front passes its way through. Then after that, we will see a lot of sunshine rounding out the week and going into the weekend. Cool temperatures on the way for our St. Patty's Day weekend mornings. We'll see upper 30s to the low 40s, but thankfully, sunshine as we round out spring break week.